Hello everyone, I am Rimparto, and welcome to System Shock 2, the original, in case a remake is made in the future. Now, I did play a little bit ways into this game a long time ago, and that's it. We should go. Also, I have never played the first ship's System Shock. It's the System Shock 2 sounded better, so. Difficulty, we want normal. Started. Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Now. Okay. And when I get to the part where I believe I left off, I'll... Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Wait, why am I crouching when I'm trying to run? Uh... Okay. Gotta hold on shift. Trying to get a hold of this. Let's see. So shift is to run, W is move forward, but you can't press both at the same time. Okay, let's head in. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. So it's four years earlier. Again. Okay, so I don't want to walk everywhere. So I switched to so W is run, shift is walk. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're okay. done with basic training, proceed to pick up some. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. 
This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Okay. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the 3D view and release the mouse button. How do I eat the chips? To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. How come it didn't work? If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. Okay. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Oh, your hit head. points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. My health's so bad. Okay, those chips. To replay, oh no, we don't want that. See the crate in front of you? Uh -huh. To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. Okay. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, one of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. This message is coming from Click the, on the audio disc icon you near just the bottom up. of your screen you to bring up your PDA display. Time to play Currently, any audio the contents of your PDA are empty. In the field, now, pick the up PDA the audio log in front for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining health okay, information. Hush. Okie dokie. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. T to climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Oh. Yeah, I almost didn't make it. Okay. Wait, is there it again? Oh my goodies. Give me my chips. Oh, why this didn't really work? So I guess they just re uh, reshow themselves. I think let's just go around and just g gather stuff. It again. Cool. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Well, I can't open the tab. I can't open it all now. What? If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. Inside, you will learn. We've provided you with a... The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many Psi points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your Psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your Psi points. Try using a Psi hypo and watch your Psi points increase. When you've reached your maximum in Psi points, move to the next station. Okay, okay. okay, so the right side there looked a little faded, so... 
This Psy amp amplifies your Psy powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy amp activates your currently selected Psy discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful, holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy Hypo. Equipped it there. This is what oh, we want it to get. To. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. I don't think I was finished. Before you enlist in the OS. I will see one more of these. Put this back. Oh, I was finished. Okay, okay. It's well memorable from last time. Technical. Inside, we'll teach you the base. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on, or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Well, I'm trying to pick it up, but... Oh, fuck it. Give me that. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. Hi to there. use a replicator, Please right -click make your selection. On, then left click on the item you wish to purchase. The okay. item you purchased will drop into the slot below. Make Thank sure you pick up your purchase Thank you before Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Some you learn the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the ha- oh, Alright, wannabe. Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you could use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Okay. 
Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Is already perfect. Yeah, see, this the tutorials are pretty cool, but sometimes it's self. Mandatory. My chips are gone. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Yep. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Okay, so where we go now? Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Hmm. I forgot what the OSA was. Something space agency? Let's let's do the Marines. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. When you find the right posting, Head into that bay to accept the assignment. Good luck, Marine. Okay. Okie dokie. Can't bring up my inventory. Because it doesn't want me to at this point. Also heard that System Shock 2 is one of the best games in history. Okay. Supply Ship Gallo Ordnance Master's Mate. Okay. IO Survival Training School. It's not school. Uh, Water Clonal Zero Grab Training. So this one. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of IO, the third moon of Jupiter. Alright, February 12th, 2112. Your stint at EIL Survival School is finished. You managed to survive your year there, barely. Yeah, right. I did well. The encounter with a descendant of the Citadel Station Tiger Mutant puts you in the sick bay for a month. But now you're one tough Marine. You gain one plus two endurance. Year two. Alright, let's do. Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving targets, stationary targets, live targets. The Port MacArthur training facility has enough hardware to- 
The automated asteroid ore facilities in JM-432 supply the UNN shipyards, so they're crucial to defense. However, they're also prime candidates for hackers. Somebody's got a tour of duty aboard the Antigua should let the automated asteroid dummy ammunition, live ammunition. Right, the automated thing. asteroid ore facility in JM-432 So I did our basic training and now we're doing more training. Time to get out of the asteroid belt and back to Wake Island Station. You'll probably have nightmares about cramped little tunnels for years, but you and the team got the jobs done. A combination of EMP grenades and high explosives will stop most hostile machinery, and in your, your year in the belt, you, you got a lot of practice at knocking the Borgs and Boss right back to the assembly line. You gain one plus heavy weapons, one plus cybernetic affinity. <gasps> okay, why did I have to choose if... The colony air service gets the dregs of the fleet. Belides trading station has long been a haven for the black market. However, the UNN Secretary General's office needs a full staff of armed guards. When things are dull, it requires the colony air service gets the dregs of the fleet. And the Antigua is the and I just get that uh, cutscene there. <laughs> what, all three of these take place on February 9th? Get back to work on the station pronto, your tour of duty on the UNN Antigua is finished. Let's see, uh, your real problems came when the convicts of the air service with shipping through decided to try a revolt. It took you the rest of the trip to get the smell of explosives out of the air scrubbers, but you learned how to repair the damn things. Let's one repair. Repair. Your application to join the crew of the Rickenbacker has been approved. Report to shuttle. Get ready to become part of history, soldier. So now we're back to uh, the original cut. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to. Move! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Your cyber interface supports too much. Shoot and use. So I'm gonna end the video here, and I'll see you in the next one.